launched this battle. There's over 900 people signed on to the petition. And actually, I don't know if anybody lives here near Sherman, or if you guys want to take a ride, but actually, I'm going to be at this. This is this Sunday at 3 p.m. at the firehouse in Sherman. Conservation Advisory Commission is going to be doing a forum. And we're talking about 500 tons of nitrogen oxides and volatile organic chemicals coming out of that thing. Uh, what happens when you, miss, when you mix NOx and VOCs? That's ground level smog and ozone. The air is moving here in the Northeast in our region. It's moving from us to you guys. That's why a lot of people in Connecticut are upset. So I would love it if you guys wanted to help take on that issue. Um, also, by the way, TEPCO is financing half of JERA. JERA is the main investor. TEPCO, I'm trying to think, where have I heard TEPCO before? TEPCO, oh yeah, Fukushima. Okay, so part of the big money behind this plan is the Tokyo Electric Power Company, the geniuses behind Fukushima, FYI. Um, municipal broadband, it's happening all over. It's not, not happening all over quickly enough. MuniNetworks.org is the website. This is a really neat thing that I learned about, again, from the Democracy Collaborative. Uh, the website is mfgren.org. There's a skilled workforce gap. I know even in Dutchess County, there's about three or 4,000 uh, people who, uh, there's, there's job openings, but the people aren't trained for them. The genius of this approach is they brought together academia and the unions and the corporations, and they said, listen, we're gonna make sure that people are actually trained for the job openings. Gosh, what a radical concept. It should be happening all over the country. It's not. Um, back in 2008, 2009, there were big front page headlines in the local newspaper, Dutchess County Poughkeepsie Journal, about the Dutchess County incinerator being massively polluting and massively corrupt and massively wasteful. I was the environmental committee chair at the time. We had a democratic majority, so I got all involved with this, with Paul Connett and Neil Selden of the Institute for Local Self-Reliance. It's a fascinating field. I suggest you look into it. Um, about half of the waste stream, about 40 to 50% of the waste stream is organics. Um, there's about two or 300 communities all across the country that are doing curbside collection of food waste. I hope you guys are doing that here. I know lots of college campuses like Vassar, all the food waste is composted. About 95% of the stuff that we use is actually recyclable or compostable. Um, and we're talking about the economy too, because six, to six to 10 times more jobs with recycling and composting compared to incineration and landfill. You guys read all that? <laughs> Um, farm to table, everybody knows about farm to table. Here's, I'm just gonna vent here a little bit. For the last three or four years, over and over and over again, I've been bringing, bringing up a public idea about, the, there's a lot of restaurants in Dutchess County that get a lot of their food from local farmers. And a lot of people know about it.